welcome viewers today we'll talk about a very complicated but interesting topic of research methodical ad hocism though very briefly indeed first of all we'd like to uh, define ad hocism what is ad hocism ad hocism is an unplanned virtually random improvisation of an activity that might lead to an uh, emergence of an unforeseen product this is what is ad hocism is all about then the second term or the rather the first term used in this phrase methodical ad hocism that is methodical here means relating to method it is not only a positive entity but also a neutral entity and it can also be used as a sort of a negative entity so methodical ad hocism can also mean unmethodical ad hocism and uh, uh, depending on the context or application methodical ad hocism is a three dimensional phenomenon of research first of all it is uh, a don't in modern humanities research that is a taboo in research secondly it's a subject of research uh, a researcher can uh, utilize methodical ad hocism as a subject of his research and uh, thirdly uh, it can also be used as a tool for research i'll revert back to all of these three first of all let us take the first case first uh, a don't in research in this case it is better to be called methodological ad hocism as opposed to methodological specificism instead of the term methodical ad hocism it is an indefinite a half hearted a casual kind of an assignment of a status to any concept or subject by uh, indefinite assignment we understand the non extension or over extension of truth for instance if we take the example of uh, of a topic a uh, position of women in society maybe ancient or modern societies and if we call the position of women in that particular society to be uh, either bad or good it is an example of ad hocism but if we say that the position of woman is reasonably good or reasonably poor it is a case of specificism because the truth perhaps lies somewhere in between in between bad and good so it is uh, an example of specificism when we take the uh, example of uh, the woman uh, in society and call uh, and, and rather grade the position of uh, position of woman in the society as uh, reasonably good or reasonably poor because by taking the term reasonably good or reasonably poor we are actually accepting the fact that the uh, that the condition of the woman is not entirely good or entirely bad so it is an example of specificism uh, as opposed to um, ad hocism then i come to the second point that is subject of research it can also be used as a subject it is the it is a subject of research uh, uh, that may be undertaken by a modern researcher it is a study of various cases of methodical ad hocism in both uh, ancient on, or or uh, modern texts i'll give an example uh, in patanjali's mahabhasho we find reference to katang uh, i mean uh, batika katayana ruling out the utility of the paninian rule uh, relic which is one of the mahishwara rules as uh, the phoneme li does not exist in classical sanskrit so that is why kattayana actually ruled out the utility of relic uh, because re li does not exist in sanskrit but patanjali tried to re establish the utility of li as the phoneme could also occur in uh, what he called jadrichha shabdo or coined words like uh, uh, lipido which is a proper noun so patanjali tried to establish the utility of uh, li in classical sanskrit 
as it could have been used in uh, proper nouns like lipido, which is a coined kind of a proper noun. Clearly, both of them uh, had actually failed to figure out the true significance of the phoneme Li. They uh, actually did not succeed in identifying the uh, significance of the phoneme Li. And as a result, both of them had actually resorted to methodical ad hocism. So this can be one of the topics of research to be undertaken by a modern research, research scholar. And then the final point, tool for research. It can also be used as a tool for research. Methodical ad hocism can be used as a definite research tool. For instance, when a scientist or a modern researcher applies a, a sort of a random cross fertilization in case of uh, animals or a random hybridism in case of uh, plants or plant genetics or uh, random uh, cross combination in cases of various uh, machines and also it can be used as uh, random diffusionism in case of qualitative humanities research. In all the cases, methodical ad hocism uh, has been used or can be used as a definite tool for research. So we can understand that methodical ad hocism has three aspects. First of all, it is a don't, of, don't in research, then it is a subject of research and finally it is a tool for research. So when it is used as a methodological ad hocism, it is a don't in research and it can be used as a subject of research when a researcher applies uh, methodical ad hocism and tries to find out the various cases of methodical ad hocism in Sanskrit or other uh, literature and then a modern researcher can also use the use methodical ad hocism as a definite tool for research to uh, to find out uh, what the uh, unplanned experimentalism uh, leads them to leads uh, leads him to a particular kind of a product so all these things are actually examples of methodical ad hocism so i hope it is uh, sufficient for now uh, this is what we call methodical ad hocism thank you very much